Good day. How is everyone? Hello, Denise. <laughs> Uh, there's some groggy people out there today, I guess. Um, since it's Saturday, August um, 31st, I think. Yeah, 31st, 2024. And tomorrow is the first of the month. So uh, we'll continue with St. Catherine of Siena and the, um, the excellent uh, understanding of the tears. <clears throat> and love of neighbor and why and how that gets accomplished. And uh, uh, good day, CW. How are you? Um, so that was a pretty um, uh, exciting um, mass yesterday, wasn't it, with what the, t the talk was about? Well, let's keep it going if anybody's interested. Um, again, research... Uh, what I had uh, mentioned. And um, again, don't lose track of your connection with the Trinitarian Theophany. Priorities, priorities, priorities. And uh, it makes me think of that's how, you know, we got to where we get, or we get where we got. <laughs> All right, um, let's get started with the daily prayers, and uh, we'll get right into St. Catherine. In nomine Dei Matronam Nostrae, Dei Miesum Christum, Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Trinitarian Theophany in a Catholic contemplation. Humbly venerate the Divine Family. Most holy and venerable Trinitarian Theophany, one divine family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. O Trinitarian Theophany, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to attain the pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace and life everlasting through the merits of Dei Miesum Christum et Dei Matronam Nostri. O Trinitarian Theophany, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Let us thank the Trinitarian Theophany for the many graces that we receive and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to heaven and for the souls in purgatory. O Trinitarian Theophany, I most humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them, that there may be none that is not animated by thy love, or that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. And let us beg of the Trinitarian Theophany the graces which are necessary to us. O Trinitarian Theophany, thou knowest my weakness, and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of thy grace. Deny me not thy grace, O God, Trinitarian Theophany, proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which thou forbiddest, to practice the good which thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. O Dea Matronam Nostri, I place myself under thy protection. I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, now and at the hour of my death. O Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostri, et Dei Miesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, 
they am not I'm no stride that they may some Christ doom at Dame Patrum Spirit Tomb Song Tomb. Who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Okay, we were in the middle of the um, the difference between the tears arising from the explanation of the aforesaid state of the soul in a treatise of prayer um, from the dialogue of St. Catherine of Siena. So we continue. Then she reposes in me the sea Pacific, and her heart is united to me in love, as I told thee when speaking of the fourth and unitive state. When she thus feels me, the eternal deity, her eyes let fall tears of sweetness, tears indeed of milk, nourishing the soul in true patience. An odoriferous ointment are those tears, shedding odors of great sweetness. O best beloved daughter, how glorious is that soul who has indeed been able to pass from the stormy ocean to me, the sea Pacific. And in that sea, which is myself, the supreme and eternal deity, to fill the pitcher of her heart, and her eye, the conduit of her heart, endeavors to satisfy her heart pangs, and so sheds tears. This is the last stage in which the soul is sanctified and sorrowful. Sanctified she is through the union which she feels herself to have with me, tasting the divine love, sorrowful through the offenses which she, she sees done to my goodness and greatness, for she has seen and tasted the bitterness of this in her self-knowledge, by which self-knowledge, together with her knowledge of me, she arrived at the final stage. Yet this sorrow is no impediment to the unitive state, which produces tears of great sweetness through self-knowledge, gained in love of the neighbor, in which exercise the soul discovers the plaint of my divine mercy, and grief at the offenses caused to her neighbor, weeping with those who weep and rejoicing with those who rejoice, that is, who live in my love. Over these the soul rejoices, seeing glory and praise rendered me by my servants, so that the third kind of grief does not prevent the fourth, that is, the final grief belonging to the unitive state. They rather give savor to each other, for had not this last grief, in which the soul finds such union with me, developed from the grief belonging to the third state of neighborly love, it would not be perfect. Therefore, it is necessary that the one should flavor the other, else the soul would come to a state of presumption, induced by the subtle breeze of her love of her own reputation, and would fall at once, vomited from the heights to the depths. Therefore, it is necessary to bear with others and practice continually love to one's neighbor, together with the true knowledge of oneself. In this way will she feel the fire of my love in herself, because love of her neighbor is developed out of love of me. That is, out of that learning which the soul obtained by knowing herself and my goodness in her. When therefore she sees herself to be ineffably loved by me, she loves every, creature, every rational creature with the selfsame love with which she sees herself to be loved. I uh, just want to stop really quick. That's rational creature. Okay. We have to be careful there with that. With the self-same love with which she sees herself to be loved. And for this reason, the soul that knows me immediately expands to the love of her neighbor. Because she sees that I love that neighbor ineffably. And so herself, she loves the object which she sees me to have loved still more. She further knows that she can be of no use to me and can in no way repay me that pure love with which she feels herself to be loved by me. 
and therefore endeavors to repay it through the medium which I have given her, namely her neighbor, who is the medium through which you can all serve me. For as I have said to thee, you can perform all virtues by means of your neighbor. I have given you all creatures in general and in particular according to the diverse graces each has received from me to be ministered unto by you. You should therefore love them with the same pure love with which I have loved you. That pure love cannot be returned directly to me because I have loved you without being myself loved and without any consideration of myself whatsoever. For I loved you without being loved by you before you existed. It was indeed love that moved me to create you to my own image and likeness. This love you cannot repay to me, but you can pay it to my, my rational creature. Loving your neighbor without being loved by him and without consideration of your own advantage, whether spiritual or temporal, but loving him solely for the praise and glory of my name, because he has been loved by me. Thus you will fulfill the commandment to love me above everything and your neighbor as yourself. Thus is your desire infinite, infinite, otherwise it would be worth nothing, nor would any virtue of yours have any life if you serve me with anything finite. For I, who am the infinite God, Trinitarian Theophany, wish to be served by you with infinite service, and the only infinite thing you possess is the affection and desire of your souls. In this sense I said that there were tears of infinite value, and this is true as regards their mode of which I have spoken, namely of the infinite desire which is united to the tears. When the soul leaves the body, the tears remain behind, but the affection of love has drawn to itself the fruit of the tears and consumed it, as happens in the case of the water in your furnace. The water has not really been taken out of the furnace, but the heat of the fire has consumed it and drawn it into itself. Thus the soul, having arrived at tasting the fire of my divine charity and having passed from this life in a state of love towards me and her neighbor, having further possessed that unitive love which caused her tears to fall, does not cease to offer me her blessed desires. Tearful indeed, though without pain or physical weeping, for physical tears have evaporated in the furnace. Becoming tears of fire from Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Thou seest then how tears are infinite, how as regards the tears shed in this life only, no tongue can tell what different sorrows may cause them. I have now told thee the difference between four and these states of tears. Okay, we'll stop there. Tomorrow will be of the fruit of worldly men's tears. And there was stressed in there, I stressed it also, the, the, the rational creatures. Okay, there's, there's an inordinate love. Um, we cannot put animals up with the same, at the same level as um, your neighbor people. Okay, there's a, um, there's a, an unnatural um, phenomena I see in the world today. And, and I think it's a, um, a displaced sort of regret that, uh, that happens with uh, this particular love of animals that gets um, a little bit excessive. Um, we want to treat them, of course, like uh, they deserve. Um, but uh, as far as what Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum is speaking of here, um, it's, it's different.
Obiscum et quoque apote. Oremus. O Trinitarian Theophany, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired, who live and reign us with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Suscipe de impatrum spiritum sanctum hancum acolatum hostium, quam ego indignus famulos tuus offeriti bideum meo milum et verum, pro vino midibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentis meis, et promnibus circumstantibus ser promnibus fideribus catholicorum, vivis aque defunctis ut mihi et iris proficiet ad salutem. Deum qui humani substantiae dignitatum medibidi tu condidisi et medibidius reformasti da nobis, perius atquae et vini mysterium, eius divinitatis esse consortes qui minitatis nostrae, viedi dignatis esparticeps. Te in Iesum Christum fidium, qui te convivit a reinat in unitate de impatrum spiritum sanctum. Fedimus tibi Deum calicem salutaris tuum de pacantis clementiam ut ucens fetu divinae maestatis tuae pro nostra et totis mudis salute, cum adore suavitatis ascendat. In spiritu humiditatis et in anomo contrito suscipi amarate Deum Iesum Christum, et sic fiet sacrificium nostrum ec es fetu tu hodie, u placiat tibi Deum matronam nostra et deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Veni santificator, Deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Et santificit de blata prosequendo, et a capere hoc sacrificium tuo sancto nomini, prae paratum. Suscite, Sancta Trinita, Sancta Oblationum, Contibia Faremus, Amo Monum Passiones, Resurrecciones, Sette Scensiones, Dei Mies in Christum, Et in Honorum Dei Amatronum Nostrae. Et Papa Peter Sanctorum, Et Istonum et Omnium Sanctorum, Ut Idis Proficiet Ad Honorem, Nobis Autam Ad Salutem, Et Idi Cronobis Intercede, Et in Antonin Caelis, Quorum Amorum Agimus in Tedis Pedinum Christum Dei Nostrum, Orate, ut meim ac vestrum sacrificim, ac et avele fiat op deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Suscipiat deum Iesum Christum, sacrificim de manibus tuis, ad laudem et gloriam nomini sui, ad utiditatem quoque nostram tot iusque, ecclesiae suae sanctae. Deum obiscum, quoque apote, sul sum corda, Habemos a Deum, gracias hagamos Deum nostrum, dignum et justum est. Ute egito clementes me mater a pater, Deum matrum nostrae, Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, pedem Iesum Christum filium tuum Deum nostrae, supplices et hagamos a petimus, uti accepta habeas, et santificas, haec sanctam sacrificium ilibata, In primis quae tibi afferimus, pro ecclesiam tuam sanctum catholicam, quam pacificare, custodiri et onare, et regere digneris toto veterarum atque catholicae. Memento Deum famlorum famlorum cretuorum. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for Katie, Gage, Neil and Earl Lively, Maria Josephina Mose, Mark Jr., Henry, Barbara, and Benedict Santa Croce, Casey, Mr. Nobody, Anne Boltink, the Cantu and Duarte families, Michaela McLaren and family, Jenalina, Lori, Aaron and family, Maria and the Lineweber family, the Cahill, Kendrick, Dosco, Nye, Kane, Tafor, Began, and Wolf families. We pray for Nicole, I'm sorry, Melody, and Nick. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first State of Agentis Catholic Council Office and Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all governmental allowance or sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, 
child abuse of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, medium of exchange, with no usury. We pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this Catholic society, take the steps necessary with courage. We ask for the conversion of all sinners trapped in a state of mortal sin, especially the ignorant. We ask for the effects of the satanic ritual and black mass that was held on June 29, 1963, between the Vatican and the Masonic Lodge in South Carolina be reversed and the spell destroyed forever. We ask you to shut down CERN and block any uh, starting up of any gateways or portals, and to shut them all down and have all demons return back through them. We ask that all quote-unquote gay marriage be banned, and a reversal of the feminist ideology and a return to godly femininity, that women cease working for Freemasons and corporations everywhere, and that they come to realize, both husbands and wives, that raising traditional Catholic families is a very high ideal and a necessity for sustaining a Catholic society and for teaching your, the children about the virtues. We ask that all pornography and the on, OnlyFans platform be stopped immediately. We ask you to destroy the satanic document of Vatican law that is the Jewish Talmud. We ask you to destroy Rome and the Vatican and transfer the authority, recognize the transfer of the authority of the Catholic Church to Fatima, Portugal. We ask you to block the passage of any so-called pandemic treaty by the WHO, again based on lies and aimed at removing the divine family's children's freedom to move and travel. We ask you to block any efforts by the World Economic Forum as well. And we give them no authority over us. We also ask that you destroy all forms of Freemasonry and its tentacles everywhere and anywhere throughout the lands and bring the members into the submission of the Trinitarian Theophany through correct baptism and confession. All these things we ask in accordance with the Trinitarian Theophany's holy and divine will. Et omnium circumstantium quorum tibi fides cognita est et nota devotio, proquibus tibi afferimus veruque dibio frontoc sacrificium laudis, proces visque omnibus. Pro redemptione anamarum suarum, pro spesalutis et regulamitatis suae, tibi credendo volta sua, eterno deum vivo et vero. Comunicantes et memoriam venerantes in primis gloriosae, semper de matram nostrae, et de deum Jesum Christum, et veitorum martirium tuorum papa sancti Petri, et sancti Lucia, et sancti Iacinta, et sancti Francisco, et sancti Juan Diego, et omnium sanctorum, tuorum quorum meritis precibusque cancedas ut in omnibus protectionis tuae muniamur exilio per innum Christum deum nostrum. Quam oblationo de deum patrum spiritum sanctum in omnibus, Consecrate ma che tabellan che peccati di neri sul lungis corpum, et sanguim fieri di tissimi filium tuum deum Iesu Christum. Qui pridie quam patoreto recepit de panum in sancta sacu an obvious manus suas. Et erivati soculis in calamate de patrum spiritum sanctum suum omnopotentem tibi gracias agens. Consecravit frege de dicque lungis sui dicens, acipit de etem abdicate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est eni. Corpus meum. Sin mini modo postquam ceremonia est. Accipiens et hunc praeclarum caricem et sancta sacu honorabilis manus suas, item tibi gracias agens, dem patrum spiritum sanctum. Consecrave dedicui alumni sui dicens, accipite et vivite ex omnes. Hic 
Angst, ein im Kalexongonis, mein Mysterium fidei, quae pro nobis et pomodis effundetur in remissionem peccatorum. Ai cortescum preficeritis in nome del Patriotis. Unde et memores deum nos servitui, sede plebs tua sancta iustum Christum filium tuum, deum nostrae. Tam beate passiones nec non let et inferis rejectionis, sedet in caelos gloriosae ascensionis. Offerimus praeclare majestati tuae de tuis donis actatis. Supra quae propitio axareno vutu, vutu yes respiceri digneris. Supplica estera gamos deum patrum spiritum sanctum, Iubei hac preferi pe manus tuum ut porcor, ex acataris participatione sacro santum de infinim tuum. Corpus et sanguinem simsenimus, omni santificatione caelestia gratia de pe amor pe de indum Christum deum nostrae. We pray for those who have died, and we especially pray for Frank Brown for whom this Mass is being offered. Ipsis deum et omnibum in Christum quis centibum locum refigeri, luci se pauci sub noro gea este pracamor, peri in num Christum deum nostrum, per quem hic omnia deum Iesum Christum semper bona creas, santificas, vivificas, consacratis et praestas nobis. Per ipsum et quem ipso et in ipso, Es tibi Deum Matrum Omnipotente in Unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, Omnis Honor et Gloria. Ave Deum Matrum Nostrae Gratia Plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum, Deum Matrum Nostrae Matram Deum Iesum Christum, Misericordia Nobis, Peccatoribus non catenoro mortis nostrae. Libera nos quaesimus, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, ab omnibus malis, praeteritis, praesentibus et futuris, et intercedente beate gloriosa, semper Deum Matronam nostrae. Con Papa Petrum Sanctorum et omnibus sanctis, da propitius pacem divus nostris. Utopi misericordiae tuae aduiti et peccato, Simus semper liberi et aboni petevationes sequeri. Et indum Deum nostrum, Iesum Christum fidium tuum Deum nostrum. Qui tegum vivit et reinat in unitate Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, per aeternam. Pax Deum, Iesum Christum, sed semper vobiscum, et coquae apatei. Eicum ixtio, et consecratio coperis et sanguinis Deum, Iesum Christum, fiat equipientibus nobis in ad salutem aeternam. Pax Deum, et coquae apatei. Deum Iesum Christum, qui ex voluntate Deum Matronam Nostrae, qua prante Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, per mortem tuum unum vivificasti, liberame per hoc sacro sanctum, per mortem tuum unum vivificasti, liberame per hoc sacro sanctum corpus et sanguinam tuum avonibus indiguitatibus meis et universis malis, et facme tui semper in harare mandatis et et unum quam separari per mitas. Qui cum eo dem Dea Matronam Nostrae et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, vivis et reinam et aeternam. Per ceptio copris tui Deum Iesum Christum, quod ego indignus sumere presum, o non mehi proveniat in iudicium e condonationem. Sed pro tu pietate, prosit mihi ad tutumentum mentis et copris, et ad me delam, per cepiendam, qui vivis et regnas, cum Dea Matronam Nostrae, in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. 
panum calestem et tibi, in et nomen Dei mies in Christum in mocabo. Dea matronam nostra non sunt dinies, et et esse tecum meis, in facto de quae vos non patanam a mea. Dea mies in Christum non sunt dinies, et et esse tecum meis, in facto de quae vos non patanam a mea. De un patron spiritum sancto non sunt dignus, ut intercept te temes, in tanto de quae vos na patrona mea. Corpus Deum nostrum iis in Christum custodit anima mea. Quidro tribum Deum Iesum Christum pro omnibus quaero tribu et mihi, calicem solitaris equipium et nome Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in mocabo. Laudans in mocabo Deum Matronam Nostra et abi inimicis meis sarus ero. Sanguis Deum Nostrum Iesum Christum, custodiet anima mea. Corpus Deum Nostrum Iesum Christum Custodia Danum Tuum. Corpus Deum Nostrum Iesum Christum Custodia Danum Tuum. Corpus Deum Nostrum Iesum Christum Pieda Medicapium Septi Luna Ne Temperae Fiat Nobis Remedium Sempiternum. Postum Deum Iesum Christum Cosanci et Sanguis, Quem poteri potavi, Erheriat ut scelibus meis apraista, Ut in me non remaniat, Scelam macula quem purat Sancta reficerum sacramenta. Deum obiscum, e quoque apotei, oremus. May the prayer of thy suppliants profit the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, O Trinity and Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins, and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one Trinity and Theophany, forever and ever. Deum obiscum, e quoque apotei, ite misest, deum gratia. Placia tibi sancta trinitam, ad sapiens, ubi tibis mei, et praesta ut sacrificium, 
po rok listu aj majestáty Siminus autority vysiať a kartáve nehykuje. Et omnibus proklivus idúť autority si tým miserám tieto pecia preto presudujem na ústvom. Santificat bol som do potens Deum, matronam et filium et spiritum sanctum. Deum matronam nostro et em Jezum Christum et em patrum spiritum sanctum. Gracias. Trinitarian Theophany, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love thee. I beg of thee pardon for those who do not believe, do not venerate, do not hope, and do not love thee. Most holy Trinitarian Theophany, Deum matronam nostra et Deum Jesum Christum et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Deum Jesum Christum present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he himself is offended and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and immaculate heart of Dea Matronam Nostri, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dea Matronam Nostri, et Dei Jesum Christum, et Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. Thank you for attending today, and uh, I hope you all have a great day. Uh, Labor Day weekend here in the States. We're having uh, that this weekend. Um, and uh, tomorrow's Mass will be, still be at uh, 9 a.m. And uh, I hope you just, you know, love your neighbor and uh, practice the virtues on them, <laughs> if you will. All right. Um, see you tomorrow at 9. Bye-bye.